Uh-huh. Discriminate. Mm. A person unlawfully discriminated against? Yes. Mm. Discrimination. The intellectual faculty of noting differences and similarities. The effect of a law or established practice yeah. <laughs> that confers privileges on a certain class or that denies privileges to a certain class yes. because of race, age, nationality, religion, or disability. <laughs> now, federal law, including Title VII of the Civil Rights Act, prohibits uh, employment discrimination based on any uh, one of these of those characteristics. Yes. Uh, religion. Yes. On nationality, sex, age, race, or disability. Pearl. Mm. Now, other federal statutes supplemented by court decisions prohibit discrimination in voting rights, mm. housing, oh, credit extension, uh, public education, mm. and access to public facilities. Ooh, sure. State laws provide further protection against discrimination. Mm. Differential treatment, especially a failure to treat all persons equally with when no reasonable distinction can be found between those favored and those not favored. <laughs> now, I would say it's discrimination, Sheriff. Ouch. I inform you that somebody's intentionally trying to destroy my ability to communicate with other people. Yes. And you discriminate against me. I tell you that there's a forgery. Yes. You discriminated against me. <laughs> I inform you that my son should not be detained and they should not be in the custody of my wife. And you discriminated against me. Now, uh, this idea of employment. Yes. See this, this driver's license? Yes. Yeah. If I went through the actual manual from the state of Washington, what is necessary to start a business without a valid state ID, I can't. Well, what about employment? <laughs> Let's say I went to apply for a job. Oh, oh, oh. Well, we talked about it. Yeah. But now we're going to talk about it in the context of the Department of Revenue. Oh. There's a line 6U that applies to cities, counties, and other municipalities. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Joint Municipal Services Authority. Uh -huh. RCW 82.08.99. Yes. Uh-huh. Why don't you get me the municipalities? Pooch. I'm going to sue this cat right now. Uh, I just want to know every city, county, and other municipality that has some sort of obligation for the payment of taxation. Yes. And then uh, line 6X. Oh, applies to the purchase and use of standard financial information by a qualifying international investment management company. Mm. I like the idea of qualifying uh, international investment management company. Standard financial information qualifying international investment management company limits the amount of qualifying purchases mm. to $15 million in a calendar year. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, I want to know who they are. Mm -hmm. In fact, I want to know all mm -hmm, of the international investment management companies in every state of the United States. <laughs> and I want to know who their employees are. <clears throat> now, let's say you're from another nation. <clears throat> and you thought, well, I'm going to do business in the state of Washington. And the state of Washington is going to enforce RCW 82.08.207. Yes. But um, they're going to say, yes. My gross income was less than $12,000 per year under both the business occupation tax and public utility tax. You are not required to collect or pay any tax or fee to the Department of Revenue. <laughs> you remember that $1,250? <laughs> I'm thinking the United States Postal Service is getting sued. Yes. If the encyclopedia was right. <laughs> now, yesterday I mentioned that I wanted all the money. <laughs> Now the United States Postal Service is getting sued for not monitoring the amounts that they're issuing in money orders. <laughs> now for those that are 400,000 employees of the United States Postal Service, yes, I know you're concerned about your retirements. Yes, you're concerned about your benefits. Yes, we'll talk about 